The movie begins by showing Wu Young Wu, a little girl diagnosed with autism with Asperger's syndrome at age 5. Young Wu's father, Wu Guang Ho, was always worried during this time because she never spoke or even said a word. One day, when her father was arguing with an old man in their neighborhood, Young Wu immediately covered her ears and mentioned criminal law articles on violence. After hearing Young Wu's words, Guang Ho was relieved to learn that Young Wu was able to speak and was a genius child. Young Wu had read all the legal reference books owned by Guang Ho and memorized every word of the book well. Guang Ho was a single parent who had to raise Young Wu by himself after completing his studies in law. He could have continued his career in law as a prosecutor or lawyer, but he preferred to run a home food business to give Young Wu enough attention. Young Wu grew up studying various legal sciences from books belonging to her father that piled up in the house. Therefore, she followed in her father's footsteps by continuing her studies in law after graduating from high school and choosing a career as a lawyer. Since childhood, Young Wu had always been obsessed with whale life stories and often imagined whales or dolphins whenever she got the chance. Even after graduating from college and becoming an internship lawyer at one of South Korea's largest law firms, Han Bada, she still thought a lot about whale life. Young Woo was the first autism lawyer to get the highest ranking and the best score among her classmates. Young Woo was also accepted to Hanbada, one of the best law firms in South Korea, with a one-year contract. When Young Woo's supervisor, Jung Myung Suk, discovered that Young Woo was an autism asperger, he had doubts about her skills. But he could not protest because Young Woo was recruited directly by HRD with a letter of recommendation from the CEO of the Hanbada firm, Han Sun Yong. The first case that Young Woo and her team handled was the case of an old woman, Choi Young Ran, Young Woo's neighbor, when she was a kid. The old lady seemed surprised and proud after learning that Young Woo had succeeded in becoming a great lawyer. At the Hanbada firm, Young Woo met a young man who worked for the legal litigation department, Jun Ho. She first met Jun Ho when they were about to exit the Hanbada building through the revolving door in front of the lobby. Knowing that Young Woo was too scared to go through the turnstile, Jun Ho took the initiative to help her get used to it. Young Ron was accused of violating her husband, Park Gyu Sik, causing significant injuries to him. She admitted that she accidentally hit her husband because Gyu Sik was too possessive and always blamed her for small things. When the case was brought to trial, Young Ron and Gyu Sik were forced to resolve their conflict through the legal process, even though Gyu Sik had no intention of imprisoning his wife. However, the situation became more complicated when Gyu Sik died because of his deteriorating health. When Young Woo was showing condolences at the funeral, she learned that all along, Gyu Sik had a pretty severe history of illness. Young Woo used the critical clue to defend Young Ron before a judge in court. After bringing in a doctor who treated Gyu Sik as a witness and confirming that her discovery was valid, Young Woo finally proved that Young Ron was innocent. As a result, she won the first case she handled very well, and Myung Sik began to acknowledge Young Woo's greatness. Young Woo had a colleague who studied law at the same university, Choi Su Young. She had always wanted to help Young Woo and felt sorry for her for frequently experiencing discrimination due to her autism. But Su Yeon knew that Young Woo would always be able to survive anywhere and be the best, thanks to her genius. Even working under the same law firm, Young Woo looked superior to Su Yeon and the other interns. However, as a good friend, Su Yeon always helped Young Woo when she was in trouble or needed help. In addition to Su Yeon, Young Woo also has a friend named Garami, who is very close to her and has known Young Woo for a long time. She was the only person who would accept Young Woo and the only friend Young Woo had when she had just moved to a rural high school. At first, Young Woo went to high school in the city center, not far from where she lived. After being bullied, Young Woo's father decided to move her to a rural high school. But only a little had changed for Young Woo. She continued to experience bullying from other students due to her autism. Luckily, Young Woo met challenging students like Garami who dared to fight the injustice faced by Young Woo. When Young Woo met Garami, she made friends with her. Young Woo always felt safe at Garami's side. Karami currently works as a waiter in one of the cafe restaurants with a man named Kim Min Sik, who only had Young Woo as their loyal customer. Some people consider that the internship at Hanbada was a competition, and that only the best people would be promoted to permanent employees. But some people took the competition very seriously. One of them was Min Woo, Young Woo's colleague on the junior lawyer team. Min Woo always considered Young Woo his rival and never saw her as a work friend. The second case that Young Woo's team had to deal with was the wedding dress that fell off at the wedding of a wealthy businessman's daughter. The bride's father, Kim Jong-gu, intended to sue the hotel prepared for his daughter's wedding. They were considered to have humiliated his daughter in front of many people. The hotel hosting the wedding event was owned by the groom's family, Hong jin -uk. so his family must also be responsible for this case. Kim Jong-gu demanded enormous compensation for all the losses suffered by his daughter, Kim Hua Young. Myung Suk and a team of junior lawyers started solving the case even though they were not sure they could win. When the case was completed, Young Woo spent more time with Jun Ho, and slowly the relationship between them became closer. Even the warm interaction between the two was realized by Su Yeon who secretly liked Jun Ho. Jun Ho patiently listened to Young Woo's words about whales and dolphins while they spent time together at lunchtime. 
After that, Young Woo and Junho went to the hotel to investigate the wedding dress incident to find out if it was caused by the hotel staff's negligence, or just an average accident. They also went to Hua Young's house to find more information about her. After all the data was gathered, they held a meeting with the entire team to determine what charges they would bring in court. After a considerable discussion, Young Woo finally found a way for the prosecution to obtain a significant amount of compensation, and Kim Jong-gu was satisfied after hearing the news. But it turns out Hua Young had a different opinion and assumed that her father did all this to earn a lot of money. She felt that her father never cared about her feelings. He even did not realize that she was going through the marriage because of compulsion. Shortly before the trial began, Hua Young secretly went to Young Woo and asked how she could stop the case. After consulting her, Hua Young finally learned that she could end the trial by revoking her charges before the judge. Her father reprimanded Hua Young for the decision, but she insisted that the victims, in this case, were her. She had the right to make the decision. Hua Young also explained that she never wanted the wedding to happen because she had someone she loved very much. Young Woo and Han Bada's team of lawyers could have won the case, but they preferred to respect the decisions made by their clients. The third case to be dealt with by Han Bada's team of lawyers is the death of a young man, Kim Song-hoon. Song-hoon was found dead with a rope hanging from the rooftop of his room with his younger brother with autism, Kim Jong-hoon. Jong-hoon is considered a suspect in the death of Song-hoon because all the evidence led to him. Therefore, the parents want to defend their youngest son with the help of Han Bada's legal team. Myung Suk and a team of junior lawyers had to work hard to communicate with Jong Hoon because he was challenging to manage and easily lost focus. But thanks to a song that Young Woo knew, they calmed down Jong Hoon and invited him to speak. When Young Woo and Jun Ho investigated Hoon's room, they found the diary he had been hiding behind the closet. It wrote that Hoon had repeatedly tried to end his life because of his repeated exam failure, and those around him continued to put great expectations on him. All this time, the effort that Song Hoon made to end his own life was constantly thwarted by Jong Hoon. Even though Jong Hoon had autism, he knew his brother was trying to hurt himself. Unfortunately, on the Hoon's attempt to end his own life last time, Jong Hoon failed to save him. He could only cry in anger when he saw his brother lying lifeless. The evidence found at the scene was not direct evidence that Jong Hoon had killed Hoon. But the police found many of Jong Hoon's fingerprints on Hoon's body. The situation became more complicated as the case of the Hoon's death spread on social media, and the negative stigma of people with autism worsened. Feeling sick of seeing their youngest son, who was constantly disputed by the public, Hoon's parents decided to reveal the truth of Hoon's death in court even though it would risk damaging the good name of their late eldest son. Unfortunately, the prosecution still doubted the testimony given by Young Woo in court. They considered that her judgment was biased because Young Woo was an autistic person like the suspect. Young Woo tried hard to find a loophole in the case and finally found another way to win the trial. But the case was forced to be delegated to another law enforcement team in Hanbada because Jong Hoon's father could no longer trust Young Woo. Thanks to various clues found by Young Woo earlier, Hanbada's team of lawyers convinced the judge that Jong Hoon was innocent, and they won the trial. After solving the case, Young Woo began to think that people with autism like her were unfit to be a lawyer. She decided to resign from Hanbada. A few days after Young Woo resigned, Garami and her father, Dong Dong Sam, came to see her for legal advice. Garami's father just got 10 billion won in inheritance money. His two older brothers, Dong Il and Dong Yi, set him up with a contract to get more money. Both even forced him to accept a minor share of the inheritance and asked him to pay the tax of the inheritance alone. Young Woo advised Garami to meet Jun Ho from the litigation team in Hanbada so that the dispute case could be resolved through legal channels. At that moment, Garami met Min Woo for the first time and instantly fell in love with his charm. When Myung Suk found out that Garami was Young Woo's best friend, he asked Young Woo to rejoin the Hanbada law enforcement team. It turns out that all this time, Myung Suk had not approved Young Woo's resignation letter and only considered Young Woo as an employee who was absent from work. After Young Woo returned to Hanbada's team of lawyers, she mobilized all her capabilities to fight the injustice that Garami's father received. After examining the entrapment contract given by Dong Il and Dong Yi, Young Woo discovered the loopholes of the contract and obtained evidence that the contract was invalid. After successfully presenting all the evidence and clues before the judge, Young Woo finally managed to win the case and bring justice to Garami's father. A few days later, Min Woo was assigned to solve a copyright dispute case with Young Woo. He still considered the case as a competition, not a team collaboration. Their client, Huang Du Young, claimed that their rival ATM company had plagiarized the ATM technology they had created. They wanted to reclaim copyright over the technology. When they started investigating the case, Min Woo felt that Young Woo always received special treatment from their supervisor, making him even more jealous of Young Woo. Even Min Woo deliberately hid their case material from Young Woo to make her look incompetent in front of Myung Suk. Jun Ho found out about Min Woo's cheating. Learning Min Woo's unfair treatment towards Young Woo slightly upsets him. As Young Woo and Min Woo investigate the case further, Young Woo suspected that Huang Du had lied to them. That made her doubt whether she should defend the lying client in court. She tried to be professional and protect her client with the testimony given by the client. 
but in the end, Huang Du's lies were revealed. He alleged that a rival company had plagiarized ATM technology from his company, but the claim was not based on sufficient evidence. Huang Du and his company only wanted to abuse the law to damage the reputation of their rival ATM company, so the company went bankrupt. Even though Yang Wu knew all about it, she couldn't do much because she couldn't divulge a client's secret to anyone. In the following case, Yang Wu was assigned by Myung Suk to solve a case of violence and robbery with Su Yeon. Their client Gi Hyung Sim was a North Korean deserter who tried to change her fate in South Korea with her friend, Kim Jong Hui. But they were tricked by a South Korean immigrant broker, Lee Soon Young. She had corrupted their money in large numbers. Therefore, one night, Hyung Sim and Jong Hui decided to collect the money from Soon Young. When they were about to do that, Soon Young was in a beating state due to the violence perpetrated by her husband. That incident led to Hyung Sim and Jong Hui being accused of violence and robbery by the police. On the day of the incident, Hyung Sim decided to flee to take care of her daughter, who was still a child, while Jong Hui was forced to surrender the day after the incident. After Hyung Sim's daughter came of age, Hyung Sim chose to turn her daughter over to an orphanage and turn herself in after years of living in a police chase. After finding out what really happened, Soo Yeon and Young Woo will work hard to prove that Hyung Sim was innocent so she can be released from prison and meet her daughter again. Young Woo and Soo Yeon work together to gather enough evidence and present the evidence in court. They managed to convince the judge that Hyung Sim's case was misunderstood. They could help to reduce Hyung Sim's sentence. She would only get probation and community service for several months. This case brought Young Woo to mind a mother whale who would never leave their children even if they had to risk their lives. It made Young Woo think that if her mother was the mother whale, she might never go to Young Woo when she was a baby. The other day, Han Bada's legal representation team had to confront the legal representation team of their rival company, Tai San, led by a lawyer, Tai Sumi. Myung Suk was skeptical about whether they could beat an experienced lawyer like Tai Sumi in this case because every argument issued by Tai Sumi was always on point. But thanks to Young Wu's genius, the Han Bada team showed strong evidence related to the cases they handled, so they still had a chance to win the case in the second trial. Once, Young Wu began to learn that she could enter the Han Bada law firm through nepotism, where Young Wu's father had a fairly close relationship with Han Bada's CEO. Huang Ho reasoned that he could not allow Young Wu to be discouraged just because no law firm in Korea was willing to accept her because of Young Wu's autism. Although Young Wu realized that her father had good intentions for her, she was disappointed when she discovered that she had entered Han Bada's firm not because of her own abilities. When Young Wu was settling a dispute case against Tai San law firm a while ago, she got a job offer from Tai Sumi. She had heard that Tai Sumi was a very high case win rate lawyer, and Young Wu was amazed by Tai Sumi's prowess. That's why when Tai Sumi allowed her to move to Tai San's law firm, she intended to take the offer. She knew that Tai Sumi wanted to hire her after Tai Sumi saw her enormous abilities she had. Young Wu wished to use that opportunity to prove to her father that she could be independent. That night, Young Wu packed her things and told her father that she would stay with Garami for a while. She also revealed that she would resign from Han Bada's firm and move to Tai San's law firm because she got a direct offer from Tai Sumi. Knowing that, Guang Ho immediately went after Young Wu and told her about the big secret he had been hiding. He told Young Wu that Tai Sumi was Young Wu's biological mother, who left her when she was a baby. The shocking news clearly left Young Wu shocked and confused. She swayed, fell down the stairs, and was unconscious. Young Wu's father rushed her to the hospital. He started telling her what really happened between him and Tai Sumi. They went on to study law at the same university and they started dating in their first year of college. But by accident, Tai Sumi began to conceive Young Wu and Tai Sumi's family who was a wealthy family, chose to abort the baby. Huang Ho begged Tai Sumi to defend the baby and that he would take care of the baby alone without involving her. Huang Ho realized that their social status was very different. Tai Sumi was required to be able to continue the political reputation of her family. Huang Ho never disturbed Tai Sumi again after Young Wu was born. After hearing all those stories, Young Wu didn't seem bothered and instead found clues about the case she was working on. After she recovered, Young Wu presented strong evidence before the judge and won the trial by defeating her mother. After the case ended, Young Wu came to Tai San's law firm to see Tai Sumi in person. At first, Tai Sumi was confused and thought Young Wu had come to accept her offer as part of a team of lawyers in Tai San. But then Young Wu revealed that she could not take the job offer because she was the daughter Tai Sumi had once abandoned when she was a baby. Young Wu explained that she wanted to leave Hanbada because she wanted to be independent of her father's help. But if she had to move to another firm her mother owned, that would not make a difference. After learning that Young Wu was her daughter she had left years ago, Tai Sumi felt devastated and guilty. While holding back the cry, Tai Sumi asked if she hated her. Young Wu replied that she felt happy to have seen her mother, even after only a few moments. As time passed, Su Yeon realized that all the attention Jun Ho paid to Young Woo was unusual. She could see that Jun Ho liked Young Woo very much. Su Yeon tried to explain it to Young Woo, who did not seem sensitive to Jun Ho's feelings. Young Woo admitted that she never thought anyone would like her as a girlfriend, given that she was autistic. 
She also liked Junho because he was always kind and attentive to others, but Young Woo hesitated if she loved him. As a good friend, Garami advised Young Woo to ensure she liked Junho. After practicing Garami's suggestion, Young Woo began to believe that she had feelings of love for Junho. She took the initiative to convey her feelings directly to him. Unfortunately, when she expressed her feeling, they had to go after the client of the case they were handling. Junho didn't have time to give Young Woo an answer. At first, Junho was confused by Young Woo's strange attitude, ranging from pulling up a chair, protecting him from the side of the road, opening the door to helping bring his things. But then he learned that Young Woo did that because she liked him. Junho also liked Young Woo and decided to express his feelings to her. But oddly, Young Woo looked nervous and immediately ran away from him. The following day, Young Woo went to Junho to apologize. Since that day, they had officially been in a relationship. Unfortunately, after people started to find out about their relationship, some of them, especially Jun Ho's friends, thought that their relationship wouldn't go well and even insulted Young Woo in front of Jun Ho. On the other hand, various legal cases were won by the Hanbada team, ranging from issues to protecting the monument trees belonging to a village to resolving different dispute cases. There were times when Hanbada needed help to get the results they wanted. One of the failed ones was the case of a young man, Bang Gu Pong, who wanted to free children from the burdensome demands of school learning. When he discovered that children were often forced to study until late at night, Bangu invited them to play and recreate together in a mountain. As a result of the incident, Bangu was reported by some parents of the student. He was charged with kidnapping because he had taken their children away without permission. Although the children who went with Bangu to the mountains at that time claimed that they were happy, he was still indicted by the judge for attempted kidnapping. Bangu also received the indictment gracefully. He then told the parents to give their children time to play before it was too late. In the following case, Hanbada's law enforcement team had to handle a case of a young man, Yang jong il who was alleged to have abused a girl with an intellectual disorder, Shin hee yong jong il and hee yong admitted that they liked each other, but the jury and the judge still charged that this was a case of harassment. They considered that hee yong could not give the proper consent or judgment about her feelings. At one time, myung suk and his team got the opportunity to resolve a dispute case on Jeju Island and used it to take a vacation. At the same time, Junho began to feel lonely because Young Woo was too focused on her world. They were too often doing activities that Young Woo only liked. He started talking to Young Woo about the problem and trying to find the best solution for their relationship. While they were having lunch, Junho asked Young Woo to meet his older sister, who lived on Jeju Island. He wanted to introduce Young Woo as his girlfriend to her. Meanwhile, Garami decided to vacation to Jeju Island after learning that Min Woo's lawyer would also go on the business trip. Upon arrival at the airport, Young Woo and other lawyers chose to wear formal attire, given that the purpose of this trip was to handle a case instead of a vacation. But lawyer Myung Suk wanted to use the opportunity to enjoy the moment as a holiday instead of just fixating on getting their work done. Even on the first day of service, Myung Suk banned his team members from working and invited them to have dinner. All this time, Suyo never liked Min Woo, who was too ambitious and always considered everything a competition. But on this work trip, she began to see another side of Min Woo's personality. He started to care about the people around him and become more considerate. His gentle attitude made Su Yeon begin to get carried away by the romantic atmosphere between the two of them, and unconsciously, she began to have feelings for Min Woo. Without everyone knowing, Myung Suk had been convicted of early stage stomach cancer, and his health worsened recently. That's why he decided to accept the case on Jeju Island because he wanted to enjoy living on an island with many beautiful memories with his ex-wife. Actually, he still loved his ex-wife, Jisoo, very much. But a few years ago, Jisoo divorced him because he was too focused on his work. While the trial of the dispute case on Jeju Island was ongoing, Myung Suk suddenly was unconscious due to his worsening disease. Young Woo and Hanbada's legal team members were forced to continue the trial without Myung Suk, who would undergo treatment with Jisoo. After the first trial, Jun Ho invited Young Woo to his older sister, Soong Hui, and introduced her as his girlfriend. But unfortunately, Soong Hui's response was not very good because she thought Young Woo would not be able to make her brother happy. Jun Ho scolded Soong Hui for belittling his girlfriend. While Young Woo overheard the conversation and could only be speechless with hurt feelings. From then on, Young Woo decided to stay away from Jun Ho without giving any explanation. Not only was Young Woo heartbroken on her way to Jeju Island this time, but Garami also had to accept her one sided love after seeing the closeness between Su Yeon and Min Woo on the balcony. After the dispute on Jeju Island was resolved successfully, the Hanbada law enforcement team returned to Seoul and continued their activities at the Hanbada office. On the other hand, Myung Suk was still on leave because he had to undergo cancer removal surgery. During Myung Suk's leave, Young Woo and other internal lawyers would continue their work under the supervision of a senior lawyer, Jong Sung Joon. The Hanbada team again got a pretty complicated case. They had to help a well known online shop company in Korea that was recently prosecuted by consumer protection agencies for neglecting to keep customer data secure. They revealed that a few days ago, their company had been hacked by a hacker, and millions of their user data had been stolen. 
the Consumer Protection Agency considered it the negligence of a company of 300 billion won. According to the company's top manager, Bayan Chial, the number was very unusual. Unfortunately, Soon Jun's lawyer has a very grumpy and respectful character. It was very different from Myung Suk's character who was a good and humble listener to his juniors. When Young Woo tried to express her opinion about the case they were handling, Soon Jun was offended because he felt he was being patronized by Young Woo. As a result, Soon Jun, who did not have the patience to face Young Woo, decided to remove her from the case. Soo Yeon intends to defend Young Woo and help her, but Min Woo immediately stops her. He wanted Soo Yeon to avoid getting into bigger trouble. One night, Jun Ho came to see Young Woo, who had recently been avoiding him and asked about her reason for being like that. Young Woo explained that she would always have a tendency to focus on her own world, which might make Jun Ho feel lonely or unable to feel happy. Jun Ho finally realized that Young Woo had heard his sister's words on Jeju Island a while ago. The following day, Guang Ho came to see Han Sun Yeon cancel his plan to use Young Woo to destroy Tai Sumi. After learning that Tai Sumi would run for justice minister, Guang Ho began to think that using Young Woo to defeat Tai Sumi would only hurt Young Woo's feelings. On the other hand, the case of the Rawan company handled by Soong Jun's team became more complicated because of Soong Jun's stubbornness and unwillingness to listen to others' opinions. Fortunately, Su Yeon and Min Woo managed to postpone the hearing thanks to the genius idea that Young Woo had put forward, so that they had a chance to win the case in the subsequent trial. Without anyone noticing, it turns out that the hacker on the user account of Rawan's company was a teenage boy named Song Hyun. He was the only son of Tai Sumi's second marriage, which means Song Hyun is Young Woo's brother from the maternal line. After Tai Sumi learned about Song Hyun's actions, she used all her political power to cover the secret to keeping her reputation as a candidate for justice minister. Actually, Song Hyun deliberately did the hack on the orders of the CEO of Rawan's company, Kim Chong Hong, who wanted to test the cybersecurity of their application. Initially, Song Hyun, who had the ability in IT, obeyed Chong Hong's words and stole all user data before finally encrypting the data to not be misused by others. But after the case became more complicated and made in Chial conduct an experiment to end his own life, Song Hyun decided to go to Young Woo and admit his actions. Song Hyun had been secretly investigating Tai Sumi's past all this time. He also discovered that Young Woo was his older sister who was once abandoned by their mother. After admitting his deeds to Young Woo, Song Hyun said he didn't want any protection. He was disappointed when his mother chose to cover up the truth of this case by abusing her power. Han Bada's lawyers also brought a videotape of Song Hyun's confession as evidence in court, even though they knew it would put Chang Hong in trouble. From the very beginning, the client they were protecting was Rawan Company. Now the board of directors had agreed to release Chang Hong from the position of CEO at the company. Unfortunately, the confession video was not accepted by the judge as sufficient evidence, and they wanted Song Hyun to testify in person at the trial. Young Woo realized that Tai Sumi would not allow Song Hyun to testify at the trial, so she took the initiative to meet him in person and persuade him. Young Woo explained that Song Hyun hoped his mother would do the right thing. Young Woo begged Tai Sumi not to destroy that hope. She also said from the bottom of her heart that Tai Sumi might not be a good mother to her, but she hoped that Tai Sumi would be a good mother to Song Hyun. The following day, Song Hyun finally testified before the judge at the trial and was willing to accept all the penalties imposed by the judge under applicable law. He apologized to Nchial Rawan's top official for all the losses he was currently suffering, while Tai Sumi decided to resign from the candidacy of the justice minister. The following day, Chang Hong, the former CEO of Rawan, who was behind all this chaos, was finally arrested by the police for all his mistakes. Meanwhile, with Song Hyun's testimony in court, Tai Sumi's reputation was tarnished in public. Han Sun Yong's wish to make Han Bada the number one law firm in South Korea was starting to come true. On the other hand, Myung Suk, who had just recovered from the surgery he was undergoing, asked Jisoo to get back together again, and he promised to reduce his workload. The same thing happened to Jun Ho and Young Woo, who were trying to improve their relationship which had previously been tenuous. Jun Ho explained that he may have felt lonely when Young Woo was too busy with her own world, but he felt happier when he was with Young Woo and did various strange things with her. Young Woo began to learn to focus only a little on herself. She would not make Jun Ho feel lonely again. In the evening after Myung Suk was allowed out of the hospital, all members of Han Bada's junior lawyers team gathered to welcome him by hosting a dinner. Myung Suk announced that he had returned with Jisoo, while Min Woo and Soo Yeon also formalized their relationship. That night, everyone seemed happy with what they had achieved and all the memories they had sketched together. The movie ends with a scene where Young Woo tells her father she has been promoted to a permanent employee in Han Bada. Guang Ho felt very proud of his beloved daughter. At that moment, Young Woo mentioned that she had found the right expression to define her fulfilled feelings. The moral that can be learned from this movie is that everyone has limitations and deficiencies. However, we can overcome all that if we can focus on our strengths and try to achieve our dreams by working hard. Thank you.